Hi everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I am not discussing cooking products, but I do have something hot and fresh. This is the Weem Ultra. What is the Weem Ultra? It's a streaming device. It's a digital to analog converter. It's a preamp. It is a Bluetooth receiver. It is the 21st century hub for your music system. Today we are going to unbox the Weem Ultra see what's included, integrate it into my current system, and explore its capabilities. I invite you to join me. There are two seals on the back of the box, though it appears they have tabs on them, so you don't even have to cut them to get inside. Here goes tab number one. And tab number two. Didn't even damage the box. There is a bit of a spoiler on the back of the box. We have an illustration for what's inside, but we're not going to let that ruin our fun today. Here we go. <laughs> All right, the cover is off. Inside we have the Weem Ultra. There's a box labeled HDMI slash RCA optical cables. And on this side we have a box labeled power cable, voice remote, and phono ground adapter. Of course, I am excited to see the Weem Ultra, but I'm going to anticipate that just a little bit longer and see what's in the cable box. It appears that each cable is wrapped individually. We have what looks to be gold plated RCA cables, a standard thickness. And we have an HDMI cable, also might be gold plated, at least it's gold colored. And here we have the SPDIF cable. We have the RCA cable, the HDMI cable, and the Toslink cable. It appears that the RCA and the HDMI cables have gold tip connections, or at least they're gold colored. The Toslink is, of course, optical, so no need for gold. Let's open the second box. We have three bags. First bag, we have a power cable. This must be the phono ground. And finally, the remote control. Looks like it needs AAA batteries, which I do not see included, but not to worry, I have some. And the piece de resistance. 
It's very, it's kind of heavy. This is the Weem Ultra. Oh, here's the manual. I also noted that the manual and user quick start are available online as PDFs. How is this designed to open? Ah, there are tabs on the bottom. And here we are. Oh, there's in the protective film on the screen. The Weem Ultra. Can't see anything with the screen off. There is the headphone jack up here. There is a dial. This is a touchscreen, but like I said, you can't see anything right now. We have RCA in right and left, phono in right and left. We have the ground for the phono. We have the toss link in, HDMI arc connection. I think I read that you can only use one of these and then the USB. I'm assuming that's for a U drive. I hope so. That's what I want to use it for. And then we have the RCA out left and right. We have the subwoofer out if you have a powered sub. We have a coax out, a trigger out, the toss link out, Ethernet, and then the power. That is the Weem Ultra unboxing. Stay with me and we will integrate this into my humble stereo and see what it can do. Hi, everybody. I have had some time to play with the Weem Ultra. And I have some thoughts. The Weem Ultra is more than I expected in some ways and not quite what I expected in others. But by its nature, I think it can be upgraded with a software patch. And so everything I'm about to say could change. The biggest surprise I had was just how much the Weem Ultra depends on its app. So you must have a tablet or a phone or something. I don't know if it works on a, a computer or not, but um, you, the, the companion app is integral to the experience. Cannot be used without it. I don't know that that's necessarily a bad thing, but it's I, I just assumed that you could do everything on the touchscreen. But no, you can do almost nothing on the touchscreen. There's so much to cover, I'm, I'm not even sure where to start. The let's, let's start with build quality. Excellent. Everything about this is exactly what I would want. <laughs> I mean, the, it's a solid device. The screen is beautiful, whether you are displaying the screensaver or the album art or track information or whatever you're displaying, it is beautiful. It's it's just a it's a solid device. It's a pretty device. It is a professional device. It will look fantastic wherever you're going to display it. The internal components, obviously I didn't open it up, but the high quality of the digital to analog converter, um, it, it's just... I it just I got a little giddy feeling when it was taking me through setup and it said what what is the bitrate you would like to use and I said well I might as I might as well start with the highest bitrate and see if that works and it did and I was very happy I'm sending the output of the Weem Ultra over the Toslink cable to my PS Audio Sprout and I assume that that is what's doing the digital to analog conversion because that's where the amplifier is and that's where the speakers are hooked up. But it all sounds very nice. As far as the network goes, it supports Wi-Fi 6E and 802.11bgnax, 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and 6 gigahertz triple bands. I didn't even know about 6 gigahertz. 
but the wired internet is still limited to 10 or 100 megabit. But really, how much do you need? It's, it's streaming audio for crying out loud. Bluetooth is version 5.3. The audio codecs it supports are MP3, AAC, ALAC, APE, FLAC, WAVE, WMA, OGG, and AIFF. With a device like this, they could probably do a firmware update and add more codecs if they needed to, but that seems like a pretty complete list to me. Streaming protocols, Chromecast Audio, DLNA, Spotify Connect, Tidal Connect, Amazon Music Casting, Qplay 2.0, Squeeze Light, and Rune Ready. I don't know what that is, but it's TBA. There is a microphone, but it is only used for the purpose of automatically calculating audio latency to ensure seamless multi-room synchronization. I like that. Now, in my case, I connected it to a PS Audio Sprout 100, which is already an integrated amplifier, so it is duplicating a lot of the functions that the Weem Ultra provides. However, they don't compete uh, it's not like the Weem Ultra is, is preventing me from doing something. It is, they are symbiotically working together. And so I, I will say that it's kind of the belt and suspenders approach doing what I'm doing. But I am gaining some functionality in the process. You will get the most benefit from this if you don't already have something awesome like the PS Audio Sprout 100. If you have just a standard receiver, a standard amplifier, something that would benefit from a preamp, if you don't already have the capability to receive a Bluetooth signal, you are, you are going to get the most benefit from this. I... Uh, I'm not I'm not getting all those benefits, but I'm not really I'm not upset about that because um, what I am getting is is pretty nice. This is the manual they include in the box, but take notice this is the quick guide. Quick guide, not the manual. If you want the manual, you will have to go online and find it. There is a PDF that includes the full documentation. However, I would say that while better than the quick guide, the quick guide, this is just going to get you set up initially, but there is so much more than this will cover. The full user manual is appreciated, but also not entirely accurate and not entirely complete. You are going to learn this product by experimentation and just accept that and it's not it's not difficult it just takes time it takes some patience and there are rewards if you think that the Weem Ultra cannot do something just keep trying and you might be able to get it done let's take a look at the companion app you will be living in this app so get used to it. Uh, we, this is the setting screen and we you won't go to this that often, but I just wanted to point out there is a frequently asked questions here. One question I had was, does this support YouTube music? I thought the obvious answer was no. I, I, I looked at the apps that it's supporting and YouTube music is not there. But I looked at the at the FAQ and it mentions that YouTube Music is coming, but it's not available yet. So I'm I'm looking forward to that. Uh, send us feedback, user manual. One thing I'll point out with the user manual is it lists the user manual for every product they make except for this one. So, <laughs> oh well, you can find the manual for the Wii Ultra online. So it's not a big deal. It's not like I'm going to read the manual on the phone anyway. The shop is, you can buy other Weem devices. And actually, that's, that's a good point. If you want to take advantage of the full capabilities 
of the Weem ecosystem, you are going to need multiple devices. If you want whole house audio, you are going to need more Weem devices. Not necessarily the Ultra, but say you want to take the audio from your local CD player and stream that to several devices within your house, you need more than one Weem. You cannot do it over your Amazon devices or your Google devices or any other devices. You have to have multiple Weems, as far as I can tell. Let's, uh, so you, you may actually use the shop feature, radar app, Weem forum. I haven't gone into the Weem forum and um, maybe I would have saved some time if I had. But let's look at the browse feature. I've been using this for a little while, so you can see that I have some favorites set. Now these are uh, Amazon playlists that I have favorited. And uh, well, I've, I use a lot of Amazon music, so I have favorite artists and favorite stations and favorite playlists to find. And I, there are many more that I could fill, 12, I guess. I don't know if you can add more after that or not. Uh, I marked one song as a favorite. Um, my music. Oh, that is if you want to play the music that's locally stored on your phone to the Weem, you can do that. I don't store music on my phone, so that wasn't useful to me. The recently played, well is that's it's going to display what I've played recently that's obvious the home music share is something that I found interesting and a highly desired feature if you look at the Wii user manual it will say there is a USB port on the back which I knew I saw it but it says it's USB out which I was very disappointed I I, I don't even know what I would do with a USB out for this I I I know that it's somebody's using it for something, but what I wanted it for, I have a a a thumb drive with a lot of songs on it, and I just wanted to stick the back of that uh, stick that thumb drive into the back of the Weem and and use it as a music server. And at first, I thought it couldn't do that, but it can. And so, if I go into the server, it will show all the songs I have stored locally on the Weem. Well, not really on the Weem, on a, on a USB drive, but that is, that's perfect. And I just wanted to point out that one of my favorite features that I would have been so sad had it not been present, it is present. We have Shuffle Play. And and that's really all I want to do. I want to, uh, I like to s just have all my music on a USB drive, hit play, and play it all day with no repeats. That is perfect. That's everything I wanted for this. And it, let's just start this. And you can see that it is not only playing the song from my USB drive, it is showing the album art. And that's... It will it displays something for any selection you pick, as far as I can tell. Whether you're playing Amazon Music or Spotify or local radio stations or podcasts, whatever you're playing, it is going to give you some kind of album art, assuming that some exists. So I, I really like that. And that that's this alone <laughs> makes my day. I had a Raspberry Pi server streaming songs from this USB drive, and it was so flaky, and I had an endless problems with it. That's all gone now. I can just take that same drive I had on my Raspberry Pi server, stick it on the Weem, and we're done. That's perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. And... Uh, and I just wanted, oh, one more thing. Notice that I am no longer on the, uh, if you look at the app, I'm not on the local server anymore. I mean, the, I'm, not on, I'm not controlling it. 
but I can use the remote to change tracks and now I'm so you you are dependent upon the app to set up and for a large part control your Weem Ultra, but it's not necessary for every function. And I can I can shut this down and it's still going to work. So it's 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 quite nice. Let's just scroll up here and see the music services. Now this is not all the music services that the Weem Ultra supports. These are just the ones that I have set up. Amazon Music, BBC Radio, iHeartRadio, Pandora, Radio Paradise. I'd never even heard of that before today. Spotify. I'm not going to say that one. <laughs> I don't want to. I got enough problems with uh, listening devices. Uh, but I. But we can add more services if you want to. Uh, we have. Well, that's not what I wanted. Scroll down. All right, so we can add, uh, you can see the, the services that I have turned off. Calm Radio, Deezer, Napster, Open Network Stream. I tried using the Open Network Stream and I, the, the radio stations that I wanted to put in, I, the, I don't know if I was doing something wrong or I just, they weren't compatible, what, whatever. I'll probably get back to that sometime. Uh, Cobas, I don't even, I've never played that. QQ Music, SoundCloud. Um, I had some problems with SoundCloud, and I'll, I'm I'm going to play with that a little bit more. It's not like I'm a huge SoundCloud user now, but I I do use it from time to time. Sound Machine is one that I actually haven't heard of before. Um, Soundtrack Your Brand, I don't know that one. Title, I I don't want to pay. Tune in. Uh, tuner, v, v tuner, whatever. I don't know what that is, but anyway, these are the services that it provides right now, and they say more to come. And so that's that's the beauty of this system, is they can update the app, they can update the the Weem Ultra. All it takes is a firmware update. And in fact, when you start the Weem Ultra for the first time, it will look for firmware updates and load it automatically. So if you get one of these, it may have more services than what I'm showing you. And well, I hope it does. I hope it has YouTube music because I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And what else do we have here? Oh, yes. Oh, oh, oh first of all, these are the sources that we can choose. This is... It's not a one-time setup. You can change these, and in fact, you probably will, <laughs> because right now we're we're streaming Wi-Fi, but we can also receive Bluetooth. We can switch to the TV mode. I have a line in, uh, or actually, it's it's an optical in. It's that's where I have the CD player, and I've got the USB drive. I don't have a phono device. Um, I, and I doubt I ever will. And and I'm done with vinyl. I got rid of my vinyl, and I don't want it again. You you kids have fun with that. It's it's not for me. This is if you have more Weem devices, then you can control them all all from one app. I only have the one so far. And this is kind of nice. You can search for a an artist or a song or a playlist or a podcast or um, whatever, and it will go out and find it for you based on the services you have defined. So that's, I like that a lot. Another thing that I wanted to highlight was the equalizer function. I'm in the what's currently playing function right now, and we have these three dots here. I'm going to click on that, and now I have the equalizer button. So we, we have a couple of options here. We can either choose the parametric equalizer or the graphic equalizer. I'm most used to the graphic equalizer, so I'm going to choose that. And as you can see there, it's flat. And that's actually one of the options here. But look at all these presets we have to choose from. And it makes it easy 
Now there's there are a ton of presets here. Or you can make your own. You make your own set make your own setting to whatever you want. It might be okay. it'll boost that based. Yeah, something like that. What, whatever you want to do, well, that's fine. So that's that's kind of a buried feature. I'm I'm not sure why. It it seems like that would be front and center, but it looks like you well, yeah, like I say here, adjust the equalizer for each source individually, and it sounds like something you would only have to do once. I am not sure if uh, they if they expect these sources to be significantly different in their sound well i guess for one thing for television maybe you want to enhance the uh, mid ranges so you get more vocals or i don't know what you want to do but i just wanted to point out that the equalizer is there and it's a little bit buried so you have to find it the only thing that i, I was really surprised and a little bit disappointed by was how dependent the Weem Ultra was on its companion app. Uh, is that a big deal? I don't. Well, it is what it is. It's uh, if 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 that's a a deal breaker for you, then the <laughs> you're gonna have to find your your audio pleasure some somewhere else. Th this is not a deal breaker for me. It just, it just, took, I just expected more menu options on the device itself rather than all, basically no menu options. The the controls, I mean this this dial here is basically just play, pause, and volume adjustment. And if you tie, if you you can disable the volume adjustment, basically you're saying uh, put all the volume onto the uh, source or your amplifier or something like that so because uh, otherwise you would have like for me I would have volume here volume here and if I'm playing a Bluetooth source I would have volume on my phone or whatever as well and so what we can you can just tie all those together and only have one thing to adjust if you are expecting the Weem Ultra to be a standalone device then it is not this requires the use of the companion app. There's no way around it, and you just have to live with that. But I think it's fine. When it comes to the user manual, I can forgive them for only including the quick start guide simply because I am certain that this product will evolve over time and anything they print would be out of date quickly. I think if you are going to force the user to go out and find the manual online, it should be easier to find it. And the fact that I couldn't find it in the companion app is not the best. <laughs> but I would I would go even farther than that. Put a QR code in the quick start guide for the user manual. It is not a plug and play system. It tries to be, but there is so much to set up. And I if it if it were easier to set up, I think it would mean it was less powerful. I don't want it to be less powerful. I think you could and should make the companion app more user friendly. It it doesn't really have an obvious flow to it. I mean, sure it does in the beginning when you're doing the startup. That's fine. But once you're in there, it just feels like you have to know, you have to be an expert at the app in order to use the app. And I I would like it to be easier. It could use improvement and it will improve. I'm certain of that. So that's I'm not even I'm not even going to take away points for the companion app. I do like all of the options we have for connectivity. The HDMI, the coaxial, the the toss link cable, the ether hardwired ethernet, Wi-Fi, uh, RCA cables. It's got if you have a device you can probably hook it up to this. 
if you have more source devices then you have ports for the Weem Ultra, then you probably also have a way to deal with that. Uh, you've got some kind of a device selector that you could plug into the Weem Ultra and you would just have another remote to deal with. If you're, if you're old school and you have a, a, a ton of devices, um, where there's a will, there's a way. Giving a rating to the Weem Ultra is does it do what you need it to do is, is basically what it comes down to. Uh, the components are fantastic. The connectivity is fantastic. The capabilities are virtually unlimited with future patching. Even as it stands, it's excellent. Uh, it, and it solved a problem for me. It, I was able to eliminate my flaky Raspberry Pi ser music server and plug it directly into the Wii Ultra. That I'm so grateful for that. Yes, the features of the Wii Ultra are redundant with some of the features that I already have, but that is not the worst problem to have. In fact, it hasn't caused any problems whatsoever. Uh, so I can't take away points for that. I'm looking for a reason to take away points. <laughs> I was kind of led to believe that this could be a, a whole house audio solution, and it, and it is, but um, but you do have to have more Weem devices to do that. How do I rate the Weem Ultra? That's almost the question that you have to ask yourself. I can rate it for how it works for me, the problems that it solves for me. I love the hardware. The hardware is fantastic. The connectivity, both for input and output, the just the, the options that I have for wired or wireless internet, the uh, coaxial, the SPDIF, the RCA, HDMI, all of the connections that basically came up between in the past 30 years, 40 years, 40, 50 years. Uh, and and you can support a phonograph too, which I don't even have. This is a device. This is a bridge device that will bring your legacy audio equipment into the 21st century. What's not to like? I think the only disappointment I had were my own assumptions and not what they said it would do. And that's that's my fault. So, yeah, I I cannot take away any points for this. Any 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 problems that I had were in my own head. <laughs> they were based on my own assumptions, not what they promised. I like that this is extendable whether through firmware updates or companion app updates. This system will grow over time. I am fully confident. I'm go I have to give this a 5 out of 5 star. Um, th there's really, there's, there, there is no choice here. Uh, it's, it's an overwhelming feature set. And this is a system, okay, oh, okay, here's one. This is a system not for the timid. You must be willing to explore the Weem Ultra to get its to take full advantage of its capabilities. You will need to be you will need to become an expert. This is kind of a throwback to the way things used to be, <laughs> where they don't hold your hand always. Um, the setup is the easiest part of this, but it's also the only the beginning. If you are able to bring the Weem Ultra into your life, you are embarking on a journey. It's a journey of discovery. It is a journey of rediscovery. It's a beautiful thing. And I think you will enjoy it. I know you'll enjoy it. If you have gotten this far and you have decided that something about the Weem Ultra would make your life better, then you're probably right. I want you to make a commitment to yourself 
that you won't give up. I mean, I don't want to scare you away from the Wii Ultra, but I want you to be realistic about what it's going to take to set it up. This is not a hand-holding experience. You will have to dig. You might have to guess. But there are rewards. And I think they'll get better. I am delighted to be part of the Wii Ultra family. If you have a bunch of old school audio gear that you want to integrate with modern convenience, like a Bluetooth connection, like streaming services, um, yeah, join me. I think you will love it. I don't want to scare people away. It's not that complicated, but it does take a little bit of time. You have to get to know each other. But when you do, you will have a fantastic experience. And I'm excited for you to join me. Thanks for stopping by. Thank <music> you.